Hey guys, I wanted to jump on here and just show you really quickly a super easy way to make keepsake ornaments. I used salt dough, made awesome ornaments, and I have my daughter's handprint, and I have my baby boy Bentley's paw print, and we baked these, we painted them, and they are stiff and hard, and they're about to go on our Christmas tree. So I'm gonna show you how to make these right now. Keep watching. For this recipe, all you need is water, salt, and flour. And over here is my little sidekick, so <laughs> if you hear banging in this video, you know where it's coming from. Okay, so it's gonna be a half cup of water, half cup of salt, and a full cup of flour. Now we're gonna knead the mixture. It only takes like 30 seconds to make this into dough. And now we are gonna roll it out. I have a little bit of flour on my counter. So you can take cookie cutters and create a shape if you'd like. I know my daughter's hand is gonna to be too big for any of my cookie cutters, but I'm gonna to try to do my dog's paw in the star. You wanna feel the dough? I decided to roll my dough out onto the sheet ahead of time, and then I'll cut away once I get the fingerprints. It's hard because my daughter's six months old, so we'll see how this turns out. Now, let me take your hand and make a print. Press that in there. Wow, good job. Oh, don't. <laughs> she pressed a little too hard. Take two coming up next. All right, baby. Okay, it took a lot of tries, but I finally have four um, ornaments, and now I'm gonna stick a little straw in to make a hole for the ribbon. Okay, they all have a hole for ribbon now, and I used a knife to just clean up the edges and make it a little more circular. Okay, so you want to bake your ornaments at 250 degrees for two and a half hours. I have mine set for two hours right now because I want to check it, but it should be between two and a half to possibly even three hours to be fully baked and ready to decorate. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So I let these cook for two hours and 15 minutes. These ones crack me up. I just used my star cookie cutter and they're like solid. I wanted them to look like cookies though. <laughs> and then this hand print. I love, I love Bentley's paw print. I'm gonna paint these and I'll show you how they turn out. Her little foot. I have the hole going this way. Okay, so I don't have sandpaper, but I'm gonna use a trusty nail file and just file away to get like more of a smoother edge on all my ornaments. Because the sound uh, this makes is so, ugh, gives me chills, I won't show you <laughs> me doing it, but I'll be back with some smoother ornaments shortly. All right, phase two, I have put a white layer of paint. This is what I used multi-surface paint and I just did the outside so you could see the handprint but I think they look really cute I need to do another layer of white and I tried uh, the red inside I don't really like the way it looks so I'm actually thinking of keeping these just with the cookie coloring because it's like a handprint I'm gonna paint the back so then I can write all the details on that. So it's gonna be like Ariel, six months, first Christmas. And then I need to hang, I need to put ribbon through the holes.
Let me know if you make these salt dough ornaments and I can't wait to see what you guys do for keepsakes. Let me know in the comments below. I read everything. Wishing you a wonderful holiday season and I'll catch you in the next video.